Welcome back everyone to Showbiz India and today on our celebrity profile I have the director of Lunchbox Ritesh Patra. Welcome here to Los Thank Angeles. You. Thank you for it's having me. It's great to see you. Thank you. So tell me you just came from Sundance. What was that yeah. experience like? Sundance, Sundance is really special you know and I'm, I'm slurring a little. I'm not drunk. I'm just jet lagged. Uh, and Sundance is really special you know, for me and for the film it was like coming home uh, because the movie was developed at the Sundance Institute. Uh, so it was a really special screening. The cast was there, and we haven't been together in a, in one place since Khan. Uh, so Irfan was there, and Nawaz Siddiqui, who plays Sheikh, was there. Uh, so it was very, it was very special. It was very special for us. I can just imagine. And speaking of your cast, you had such a fantastic cast who each did so well. What was it like working with? Let's start with Irfan. <laughs> Irfan is fabulous. You know, he's. Uh, it was very. Uh, Interesting for me to see, we were walking around Sundance together on Main Street and so many people, so many people are, you know, in the streets of America are, are big fans of his. Um, so he's really one of the great exports of India, you know, out to the West. Uh, he's, he's a great person, a great actor, of course. Uh, he read the script, uh, I sent it to him via the producers uh, and uh, he liked it and we met in Bombay and uh, uh, he came on board you know it was it was very sort of instant and Nawaz Siddiqui uh, he was also my first choice you know he's uh, he's a great actor he's uh, finally getting his due now uh, in India and I think uh, I think he is uh, he's going to be in a lot of stories that are going to travel I hope um, and he's he's also a great actor you know he was uh, my first choice for Sheikh um, and he has this is really nice uh, sort of innocence and wonder about him and, and yet you know there's this sort of uh, uh, much like Irfan there's this sort of case of still waters run deep. The girl who plays Ila, Nimrat, Nimrat Kaur, uh, this is her first film and you know she was uh, was very fortunate to find her. Uh, she She's done a lot of theatre but she's, she's really an actor for the screen I feel you know she does so much with so little. Um, so I think, I think, uh, I hope we're going to see a lot more, a lot more of her. I have really enjoyed the film, I have to say, and like you're describing, all your characters were extremely nuanced. It's, I can't believe this is her first film. Yeah, she's great, she's great. Lunchbox, it's a very different type of a story. How did you come up with this idea? Well, I, I, I don't know if it's different, <laughs> but uh, um, it's uh, something that came to me when I was trying to make a documentary about the Dabbawalas, uh, the d lunchbox delivery people of Bombay and had embedded myself for a couple of weeks and uh, it started from there. It's, I wanted to write a movie about a woman who's trying to fix her marriage with her cooking and then one day I thought what if she ends up fixing someone else's life and that's how I found Irfan's character Sajan and then through him I found Nawaz's character Sheikh and then the writing kept bouncing between these three people. Uh, but yeah, you know, I hope uh, I hope it's different. But uh, for me, it was always about making a film that you know, or telling a story that operates at different levels. You know, that uh, it can work as a uh, as a romantic comedy of sorts, and and but it really is a story of two sort of lonely souls sifting through the baggage of their lives together, and um, coming closer together over the, over the course of the movie. At the outset, it feels like a very simple love story, but when you think deeper about it, it's actually loneliness. You know, I, I felt at least it was loneliness not only for the protagonist, but for Auntie G who's up there, or for even Nawaz Siddiqui's character. I really felt like you really played that very well and brought it out very well. Was that an intention? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, the movie set in Bombay, and uh, urban loneliness is, a, is something that, you know, it plagues anyone in a big city. It's a pretty, pretty prevalent, uh, you know, disease of big cities. Uh, everywhere I've lived in, I've always lived in cities. Uh, never had, never lived in the country, you know, and I don't think I could, uh, because in cities we are so close together, and, and yet, you know, everyone is so, uh, so much in their own own sort of ozone. Like New York is a very lonely place. Uh, so is Bombay. Uh, so is Cairo. So is Mexico City. Um, and uh, I also wrote the film from a lot of nostalgia because I was in New York when I wrote it. So I had this lot, lots of nostalgia for, for you know, India. And uh, so that is there in the film and in the character. So I feel like somewhere between, you know, nostalgia, romance and this sort of urban loneliness 
is, is the story exists somewhere between all these all these things. Very nicely said. Now speaking of New York, you went to school there. Did you always know you were going to move back to Bombay? I know you have since then mm -hmm. moved back to Mumbai to make this film. No, you know, I, I don't think uh, I've never moved anywhere. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, like sort of never intended to move anywhere and, and gone there and put a flag down. It's always been a case of sort of one thing leads to another. Uh, my wife is Mexican, we have a baby girl and uh, I really moved back to Bombay to make this movie. And then we had the baby uh, five days after the shoot. And Congratulations, uh, you're a new you. dad. Yeah, yeah, relatively new. She's, my baby is 15 months now. Uh, so I should really be an experienced dad by now. <laughs> but. Uh, <coughs> But you know, I think uh, it's it's hard to keep moving with a baby, so we decided to stay. And uh, there's a lot lot going on in India, in the society, in the arts. You know, there's uh, something sort of palpable happening, and uh, I thought it'd be interesting to be a part of it, uh, and and see if I can survive it. I found it very interesting that you wanted uh, international co-production to do it, and your reasoning behind it. Can you share that with us? Well, you know, it's uh, it, there's no sort of uh, complex or a lofty reason you know it's all about getting movies made and uh, to get a story like that uh, with no songs and uh, sort of a real universal core and uh, uh, even in the way we t the telling of the story is very unlike uh, you know what you see in Bollywood films um, for, for which it's re easy to raise money from India uh, for a Bollywood film you know um, so it's a story that uh, uh, that has sort of a more uh, in the telling of it and just uh, you know you you can only do what you can do and uh, uh, you have to bring your life and yourself to y to your films um, so I knew that uh, it would be difficult to get this film 100% financed from India uh, so we got 50% of the money from India and the other the rest came from France and Germany uh, so we did a lot of our post in France and Germany we did the sound from in Berlin it was a real pleasure because the sound design of the movie in so many ways is the score of the movie. There's very little actual score in the movie. Um, and uh, also a composer is from Berlin, Max Richter, a great artist. And then we colored the film in France. Uh, I think all those things brought a lot to the film. On a lighter note, let's talk about food, one of my favorite subjects. <laughs> and you made the food look so good. And unfortunately, I hadn't eaten. So I was so hungry by the time your film was finished. And I believe you like cooking? Yeah, of course, I love cooking. I so love what are cooking. your favorite dishes to make? Uh, all the dishes in the film, actually. Uh, she makes aubergines for him. I, I love uh, I love eggplant, or aubergines as they call them in Europe uh, and in India. But I love eggplant. It's, it's my definitely my favorite vegetable. Um, and uh, I like to cook Indian food. I also cook uh, a lot of Middle Eastern food. I make a really good hummus, tabbouleh, and uh, baba ganoush. And, uh, so I like to try things, but I like to cook for other people. I don't. I don't really cook at home that much. Uh, I don't cook for my for my own people. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Why not? I, I like to cook and you know make an event out of it and call people over. So once a month or so I'll I'll cook. So my wife complains about that a lot. In conclusion, what would you say is perhaps your most favorite part of the film? My, you know, uh, like sort of all the beats of the film make up the film. You know. Uh, I don't really have a favorite part as such uh, because uh, like even when we were editing this film I had to step out of it for two, two weeks or three weeks after the shoot uh, and really go into the edit with a clear head uh, because my favorite part is based on what happened on set that day you know it's based on my favorite day so what on happened? set. Uh, no, there was lots of great days you know like uh, the, the two characters don't really really meet on screen except in one scene. But when we were shooting that scene in the cafe, you know, uh, we had a really nice time because you know, all of us were together. It was like both the worlds had come together in this cafe. And we had a really nice time on set that day shooting that scene. Um, and uh, so that, that was my favorite day on, on set, you know, when all my actors were there together. Uh, Irfan, Nawaz and Nimrat. And, uh, so it was a real pleasure. Well, what can we look forward to in the future from you then? In the future, uh, I'm going to try to lose some weight first. <laughs> you don't need to. I've been on the road so long. Uh, but you know, I, uh, I would love to make uh, uh, another film in Bombay, I hope. Um, so I'm thinking of a lot of things, but uh, 
Writing is such a discipline, you know, you need to be in one place and go there every day at the same time to do it. So I'm looking forward to all these travels uh, sort of weaning down and then I'll sit and sit and think about it. Well, it was such a pleasure talking yeah, to you. Thank you. It was thank a wonderful you. film and thank we look you. forward to watching more of your work. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.